is everybody doing? I know exactly what y'all are thinking. Like, dang, he has the body of a retired Major League Baseball pitcher. <laughs> dang, he looks like white privilege and white trash at the same time. <laughs> like I'm suing the bank, but I also might rob it. Like I asked for the manager because she's my daughter. <laughs> like I listen to Russ, unironically. White privilege and white trash at the same time. Like I buy smoked salmon with food stamps. <laughs> so good, I got a couple more. I go to therapy every Tuesday on a court order. <laughs> like I had a gay experience in college to pay for college. <laughs> I smoke a lot of weed, so I don't smoke a lot of heroin. My girlfriend is a feminist, and she said the other day it's okay with her if I am not a feminist. In a really sweet voice, like she meant it. And it was in that moment I realized I hadn't been listening to her for like 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm such an empath, I had to stop hanging out with my broke friends. It just got too painful. I used to be a food runner at Second Street Brewery, and this one half-white, half-Chilean cook would call me white boy, a lot. And then one day he started calling me school shooter, a lot. So I started telling him he looked like the dog whisperer, it got real this. I started telling him he looked like Johnny Depp the morning after he drowned. <laughs> and then every, every time I walked in the kitchen, I'd be like, call me white again. <laughs> we camp together now. <laughs> How long do you think the first two gay guys had sex before they realized they weren't going to have a baby? <laughs> Alright, I tell that one every week. Sometimes someone will crack up. Thank you guys, I'm Brian Brown. <laughs>